Hey guys, Van Deminator here, and um, well, I'm making this video because I don't think anyone else would or cares enough to do it because uh, it's not really that big of a problem, but it is a problem and one that I think needs to be addressed, and that's why I'm making this video. I'm talking about yesterday, Game Awards, maybe you heard of it, a trailer for a Horizon Forbidden West DLC came out. Okay, and uh, it's a story DLC. I mean, can, can we call it expansions? I don't know why we don't call them expansions anymore because I guess the definition is a little bit loose. But anyway, story DLC, the burning fields or whatever it's called, and um, apparently it's only coming out on the PS5 version of the game. Now, this isn't a standalone game. This is DLC for a game that already came out on the PS4 and PS5. All right? Now, I think you might have already guessed what the problem is. My problem is Horizon Forbidden West, the game that right now I'm posting my playthrough of it, is on the PS4. And in part one, of my playthrough, you'll see me talking about how I got this on the PS4 and I haven't seen anything that would justify its existence on the PS5 because the graphics are good, but I mean, they look just as good as Uncharted 4 or God of War or any other PS4 title that came out, Red Dead Redemption 2. So I don't know what the graphical upgrade or whatever that justifies the generation leap and I don't know what justifies locking off a DLC only for the next gen or the current gen um, when when the entire game already exists and is capable of existing on the PS4 so I, th I think this is just Guerrilla Games being lazy in my humble and uneducated opinion Okay, because like I said, this isn't a full game, this is DLC. So they've already worked on porting the game for the PS4 and they succeeded somewhat. So it's not like, oh, well, we tried, but we couldn't. No, you already did and you're already capable of doing it for the entire game. The entire game is like 80 hours, 100 hours long, you know, M almost maybe not double, but like triple the size of uh, Zero Dawn. And it still runs great on the PS4. So, what's the problem? And some people are like, well, you can't expect them to work on two consoles. Why not? And it's not like they're working on the PS5 and the Xbox. They're working on the PS5 and the PS4. What's the big difference? They've already worked on the PS4 when they did Zero Dawn and Forbidden West. So, I really don't see what the issue is. This really just seeks of, this smells like laziness or some corporate maneuver, you know? Uh, Sony's like, we gotta get the sales up for the PS5. No one cares about the PS5, so let's make them care about the PS5. And how do we do that? By locking off a DLC for a game that's already on the PS4. I don't know, man. It's kind of sus, but oh well. No one's probably going to care. The world's going to move on. A lot of people have PS5s. They're not going to care, but I do care, and that's why I'm making this video. And uh, just on the off chance that Guerrilla Games are watching this or anyone who is associated with them, maybe at Sony or whatever, just can you, like, tell them to, like, Hey, you see that DLC that you just worked on? Can you do it, but for the PS4? Maybe? <sighs> I don't know, you know? Oh well. This has to stop, okay? Because, like I said, there's no reason of it. I'm just, tra I'm just trailing off right now. I got nothing to say because I'm just frustrated from, from the inside and 
I've run out of words to express how frustrated and disappointed I am, you know? I wasn't really that big of a fan on Horizon, you know? But I got pretty invested by the end of Forbidden West, and I was pretty excited for a sequel or a story DLC. So when I finally got news of it on the Game Awards, I was like, all right, let's go. But no, not you, poor fucker. You go back to the homeless shelter or whatever you came from. Only the big boys, only the big boys play around here. All right, well, there you go. That's it. Um, hopefully, I don't care if it takes them another year. If it comes out on April of 2024, I don't care. I can wait. Just do it. Thank you.